Hello and welcome to this series of short videos which will be accompanying my album, Invisible Music, folk songs that influenced Angela Carter. For this next video I wanted to talk about tracks two and three which go together. The Maid and the Palmer is an old traditional folk song which appears in Child's collection of ballads. Um, it's Child 21 and it tells a terrible story of a man stopping at a well and accosting a woman, telling her that she's had nine babies by various male members of her family and that their bodies are dotted about the homestead in various places. There's something very matter of fact about this everyday incest that the man is singing about. And I think Carter picked up on that normality of it in country communities. She borrowed it in her short story, The Executioner's Beautiful Daughter, in her descriptions of Gretchen and her experiences of her family life, and in fact, the whole town. But there's something very scarily matter of fact about this kind of familial incest, which I think she nicked and repurposed because she doesn't judge people when she writes about it. Carter had that loving pen. I hear it's equivalent in Mozart, funnily enough. This kind of love of humanity in all, with all its warts. And The Executioner's Beautiful Daughter is one such example. I mean, it's gruesome, but there's no judgment. And she also wrote about the Maid in the Palmer in her undergraduate dissertation, so I know that she knew about it. She was actually fascinated by the punishment, the sequences of punishment, which involves shape-shifting. You'll be seven years a wolf in the woods, you'll be seven years a bird in the tree, seven years a fish in the stream. There are different versions of it, this kind of string of punishments that the, the man doles out. It's mimicked in The Cruel Mother. There's a sort of similar pattern to these, these imaginary punishments, which I also think fascinated her, this idea of metamorphosis. So she, her imagination was enriched by the knowledge of these songs. And this one, I think you can see the echoes of it in her story. 